today we have about 150 people who represent uh, industry, our gamblers help agencies, local councils, so people from right across the various um, stakeholder groups. It is great to be part of Responsible Gambling Awareness Week. It's an issue that we really need to be aware of. Gambling is an important issue in that we know in Victoria certainly many Victorians gamble, but we have far too many families, individuals and others that are hurt as a result of irresponsible gambling. It's one of those things that not only affects the individual, but it affects those people around it. It could be family, it could be the work environment, it could be extended family or friends. I think awareness plays a very important role in dealing with problem gambling in the community. I think many people don't know about the services available for problem gamblers. Uh, they're not aware of many of the risks associated with problem gambling. Responsible Gambling Awareness Week provides a way of reinforcing uh, the government and also many non-government organisations' commitment to um, helping problem gamblers. The government's and the foundation's commitment to Victorians affected by gambling remain strong. But we're also strengthening our efforts towards prevention of problem gambling. It's not a problem that just sticks particularly in suburbs or in regional Victoria, so it's all over. It's about just getting that awareness out that uh, if there is issues out there, people can deal with them. I think it's a great example of Victorian commitment to raise awareness of this issue. And the day, you know, this week is, a, is one focus, but right through the year, I mean, they're uh, funding research, they're supporting the initiatives that are there about increasing our sense of the need for responsibility in gambling. If you think about the last five or six years, technology has facilitated gambling in extraordinary ways. Um, and we've, we've been told to gamble more often than ever through all the promotions and advertising. What worries us as a club now, with the amount of exposure to the kids and the teenagers especially, is this normalising of the betting and gambling that's associated with football. So this week is really about shining a light on this new gambling environment and, and educating people on, on what the risks are and making sure they can navigate safely through it. It's about taking responsibilities of your own actions and its effects it can bring to the community. We're not trying to tell people to stop betting, I think that's impossible, but what we are trying to raise awareness and educate people around the fact is that there are some issues and we need to be as well prepared as we possibly can to mitigate those situations arising. I didn't realise the problem of gambling was that high, and particularly that high in the workplace. So I think the rise of internet gambling in particular has increased the likelihood that you might find people who are gambling at work. Not a lot of employees think about gambling in the workplace. We know it's occurring, so before any major you know, cases come out, we're saying to employees, get on the front foot and do something about it. It's so important to make sure that we've got community involvement, to make sure we've got workplace involvement, make sure that we've got involvement from families and also from friends, and that's the important thing, is making sure that everyone knows what it is that we're trying to promote. Indeed, this July the Foundation will celebrate two years. And to Serge, uh, the board members present, and all the staff of the Foundation, uh, you've achieved so much in such a short time. If you do gamble, gamble knowing the odds, take control and keep it in balance with everything you've got. We're not anti-gambling, but you know we need people to understand the risks around that and enjoy the activity for what it is and should be.